Sock yeah, Tigers, so Sock Tigers in the winter time, he plays Sunjay. Yo, the Chavo Towers? It's lit. That means Connecticut's in the building for their boy as we get the light double feature. All right, so I feel like this has become like the uh, a bit more of a traditional match for us to see. Fox versus uh, Palutena. Yeah, um, yeah, so let's make moves top eight. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Three Foxes, three Palutenas. Character kind of good. Yeah, kind of okay. Now, I don't know if that we're going to see that in the long haul of things, but at least it's a good indication of early on, like, what's valued in a character here in Tri-State. Because oh, yeah, they call this character being good from a mile away. Wow, and that, that teleport cancel, just to punch him with the back air. Jet's movement with Hollow Town is so slick. Like, it was always one of the features of him as a player that was just nice to appreciate. Whether it was in Smash 4 between his Sheep and his Ryu, or what we're getting a chance to look at with Palutena, but it's something that Light has to really take advantage of Fox's speed in order to like cancel that out. Yeah, and it just seems like, uh, not like last game, but Light is pushing the envelope a little bit more against Jen. Not like how he's doing against Suarez. Right now, he's in Jen's space, he's in Jen's space also, and... He's using a lot of box illusions in this game. Ooh, yeah. that killed? All right, word. He really wanted to get out of there. All right. Nonetheless, he's finding his follow-ups. doing plenty of damage to Jen. And Light's sitting with a pretty hefty lead right now. This yeah. as far as the percentages are concerned. I, I, honestly, even stage control-wise, it seems like... Uh, like, Light is dictating where a lot of these bouts are taking place on the stage, and even though Jen is responding well enough, he's forced to approach on Light, and that's never a good sign. Man, if he calls out somebody else when I'm smashing, I'm gonna leave. Like, he's, he's been netting all of these kills just by reading their approach options with up smash. Like, I think it's a sign of just, like, how, how one should approach like punishes in this game is just don't even bother with like going for the combo if you got someone at a high enough percentage just swing just do it yeah pretty much um i don't want to say the game is very swinging but the game is very swinging <laughs> so it, it rewards that style of play very well and there's a lot of little aspects of it that that showcase that it's like your shields aren't as good you don't get as much off of grabs like some characters struggle to combo longer and characters that do combo don't have as long of strings I feel like you can even see that in Light's play. Like, if you take a look back to how he would play in Smash 4, where a lot of his strings were just multifaceted, like, it would take forever for a string to end. Wow, and with that being said, Jen takes that game from Light after Light was emotionally in front the whole game. He was actually winning that whole game. What what happened here? Uh, Jen was just playing really solid. Uh, it just seems like from stock two to three, he took the, he slowed the pace down a little bit more and just started anti-airing Light's approaches instead of Light running in on him and up smash. So. Honestly, that, that's what I'm trying to see. Uh, Alan was honestly one of my picks for winning today's event, even with, like, the caliber of talent that we have. Although, to be honest with you, Bars, this is the kind of match I would have expected for us to see in winner's finals or grand finals. Yeah. Uh, not loser's top eight. Hey, man, you know, sometimes stuff happens. This is New York. <laughs> so, a lot of people just can randomly explode, so... I feel like that's always been the case for Xeno as well. It's just like there's such a concentrated pool of talent that you can't really accurately predict who's going to be wearing a bracket. Yeah, I mean, especially with the parody that we're seeing in this new game, um, all these rankings are... All the rankings are starting, oh! starting over, and he just... Hello? I didn't want to interrupt you, but that was something else. We've been seeing Jen constantly go for down tilt into forward air as the response, but this time he read that Light was going to go for the quicker option and just opts to cover it with down air, and it worked. I think I think T.O. Devin needs to put that. That's crazy. That's com commentator Devin set that up for us in the next game. <laughs> that, that was hype. Once again, call him out with the up smash. Yeah, man. So, the, yo, the Chavo Tower has got to open up like a swear jar at the house, but instead of 
it swearing just every time Light takes a stock with up smash just raw. That sounds terrible. Somebody would definitely die on the first night. They, they're collected enough for like a whole month's utilities with that. <laughs> like, Light will single handedly pay the bills with his up smash. Yeah. Um, right now, um, Jen just spacing out beautifully. Spacing his, aerial, spacing his arrows out beautiful, beautiful, just to keep light away from him, and is proving very good. Like he's just waiting for any single mistake that light is gonna is gonna make, and he just every time he, he takes his hit so far. He parried the get up attack. He parried get up attack, let it up from up tilt. He wasn't able to get that much of a chain out of it thanks to good DI from Jen, but dude, it's it's terrifying what this character can do. Yeah, explosive play from across the stage. That's something. That's cheap. Good stuff by Jen. Boys, we're finding ourselves in a position where Light might be out of the tournament soon. Yeah, and Jen just, he's just catching all of Light's approaches. Instead of uh, Light being the one punishing approaches, Jen is just hitting him for every single approach every time he comes in. He's taking percent every time he jumps into Jen. Like, this is looking brutal. Yeah, took that stock, but um, good stuff by Light, but Jen is just putting out s some of these like low committal options just to see how Light reacts, and every time Light reacts to something, he's getting hit for it. Like, often it's Nair that's the tool that Politan is able to get the most off of, but one thing I want to highlight, Jen's throwing a lot of back air mostly. Yeah, a lot of back, you know, a lot of back air and dash attack. I think he's just throwing out those safe moves that have the shield on it. Just in case, like he has, he's coming out with an aerial that is gonna win. Ooh. That would have been wild if Jen actually got just the raw up smash. Uh, what, a, what a twist of fate! I have to shut off the stream for that one. <laughs> <laughs> to pull the router, <laughs> just knock it off the wall. Thought I'd ready to turn off all the lights. It's crazy. Oh, that's it. He almost, he almost got an up air out of that. I'm really not trying to see combos start with Fox Illusion after they nerf that move, please. Uh, Fox Illusion can actually kill it at very high percentage. So. Light's only allowed to live so many years in the future. I'm definitely not trying to see Fox Illusion kill. I'll laugh. I'll laugh on stream. Okay, but right now, um, Light's bringing this back a little bit. Just taking his time, not jumping into him with airs as much as he was, and then with that being said, he gets caught out the air with a back air. And that means that... Light is down at seventh tonight, right? Yo, yeah. Yo, did we, did we finally, did we do it, guys? Light finally didn't get top two. It finally happened. Light, for, Light lost against Palatana.